for our lesson, for our new content, I'm, I'm going to do both days. I'm going to do Monday and Wednesday just because sometimes I, yeah, I know Malachi, that's how it goes. Um, sometimes I explain it a little bit different on each day. Hey, so you're finding the page that says lesson two, just like this. This is um, a guitar book that's different from our um, our first few ones that we did. So notice this one doesn't say Sight Reader 4 or anything. Um, and the reason I like this page is it just looks different. You know, sometimes if you look at the same information from like a different book, you're like, oh, oh okay, that makes a difference. It's like the same stuff. It just is maybe they have different pictures or it's formatted a different way. And I think all this information, if you have no idea about these notes, B, C, and D, all these pictures underneath here are like fantastic. Look at this. We have a nice picture like right above my head. We have this picture of a guitar and you can really clearly see that. Hold on, I'm having trouble finding my finger here. Okay, there we go. Um, you can really clearly see that it's on the B string and then it's the second string. We started off on our E string and now we're moving over to the B string. And you can see these ones over here are thicker. That's really helpful. And if you look way up high over there, um, you know, it's obviously labeled with the nut and the different frets are labeled and it tells you where to put your fingers. So I think that's just like a really, really helpful thing. So if um, you're ever having trouble, sometimes going back and just kind of like looking at these pages and reading through things, we don't spend a lot of time reading. Uh, the packet, I kind of walk through with you guys one in a piece. And also these pictures right here. We have our open B string. We have our first finger. We have our third finger. And these are the three notes, right? And just a reminder that every note has three pieces of information. You have the letter. You have the dot. And you have the fingering, right? You have the name of the note, which is literally the letter. Like This is a piece of information. B. This is a B. Right, and it's it's there on the staff, and and you play it with the open B string like that. Okay, this one's obviously C, and it's on that space right there, and you have to put your first finger on the first fret of the B string. Okay, connect, spend time connecting those three pieces of information. If you ever feel like you're overwhelmed by reading music, spend more time here and really force yourself. Because, you know, it's it's always really hard when somebody goes, but I don't know how to read notes. I'm like, okay, but that's I'm, I'm teaching you that. <laughs> like, that's what we're working on, everybody. Okay. Um, I'm going to try not to block as much of the music as I can. There we go. All right, we're going to play four Bs, four Cs, four Ds, and four Cs. Butters, cats, dogs, cats. There we go. Four on each. Um, how come I know that this B is played four times? Who can tell me that? Put it in the chat box. Who can tell me that? How do I know that that B is played four times? It's the same note. Yeah, look. This is the same as that. It's the same as that. This is the same as that. Now, I know some, um, some kiddos were getting confused on the second line, and they started playing these multiple times. But if you look, these are different notes. So this one has to be moving. Very nice. Same note. All right. Let's do the top line. Count you in slowly. One, two. Here we go. B. Switch to C. Switch to D. Switch to C. Nice. Hey. That one should be pretty easy. Let's go down to the second line. Go down to the second line. Notice that we've written in the first few fingerings, but we've left the next few out because I want you guys to start forcing yourself to look at the dots. Look at this. That's a D and that's a C, B3 and B1. It repeats a few times. So I want you to notice that these notes are the same as this one right here, okay? Let's do the second line together slowly, okay? Second line. One, two, slowly go. B, C, D, C, D, C, D, C. Third measure. B, C, B, C, B, and B. Good. I'm going to put down my guitar really quick because 
It's really hard for me to look at the notes and watch you guys at the same time, but I can do it with my piano here. So I have a piano. There we go. Now I can watch you guys a little bit more effectively. All right. Anyone willing to turn on their cameras? That'd be really, really helpful right now. Let's see if we can do the whole enchilada. We're going to do all of line one and all of line two. We ready? One, two, here we go. B, 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 B. Switch to C. We're going to the third measure. Four Ds. Four B, Cs now. Second line. B, C, D. C, second measure. D, C, D, C. Third measure. D, C, B. B. Okay. Um, now I just want to remind you guys, I'm modeling how you guys should be practicing. Okay. So now what I want you to do is go over to, um, I think it's in the participants tab. If you click on the participants tab, it will, um, show you the slower or faster. I want everyone to click slower, faster, or, or good, slower, faster, or yes, something like that. Let me know. Oh, we got some goods, some fasters. Ooh, interesting. Okay. Now, I want you to kind of double check yourself right now. Um, it looks like we have most everyone that's good, few that want to go faster, and one person that wants to go slower. So kind of like adjust that in, in your own mind really quick. I'm going to go a hair faster for you guys because I want to push you a little bit. Okay, we're going to start from the beginning. We're going to start from that open B. Here we are. Have it ready. One, two, ready, go. B, 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 switch to C, switch to D, switch to C, second line. This one moves. B, C, D, C, D, C, D, third measure. B, C, D, C, B, one more time. B. All right, let's do it one more time, a hair faster, and then we're going to be moving on with life here. Okay, let's see. Yay, John gets it. <laughs> Yay, we have a light bulb happening. One more time. We're going to try to push you guys a little bit. Okay, one, two, ready, go. B, 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 switch. C, 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 switch. D, D, D. Switch, C, C, second line, move it. B, C, D, C, D, C, D, third measure. B, C, D, C, B, and B. Hey, how did it go? How did it go? I wonder if I, am I allowed to clear these? Can I clear these? Clear all feedback. Oh, nice. Yay. Awesome. Okay. So, um, I'm going to send you guys off and we're going to be doing, let me be like super clear. Everyone's going to practice their guitar. Everyone's going to practice their guitar. I'm going to see, um, right now if everybody's on the right thing, um, right now, Hey, everybody's in the right thing on, on, on the class. Oh, I know somebody who's not in the right place. Um, so I'm going to give you, let's, let's go 9, 10, 9, 10. I'm going to bring everybody back. It might be a little bit different if I get caught up on, um, like sometimes I go and I talk with students and we like come with some really complicated situation. And I have to spend a little time, um, solving it with you. Um, so I'm going to put everybody in, um, individual breakout rooms. I want you guys to practice this thing for 20 minutes. If you're super bored with this, there's many other things that you can practice. You can practice um, anything we've learned before. Maybe you need to work on your worried man. Or if you want to be the cool kid and skip a page and go down to other um, exercises, maybe you want to check out Sight Reader 6. Maybe you want to check out Song of Joy. I don't know. You're very free to do those things, but I want to make sure everybody is playing guitar for the next 20 minutes. Don't just go open up Instagram. Yeah, I said it. And um, I'm going to be opening up breakout rooms right now. 
make sure that you guys are staying logged in because we're going to have more to learn in a little while. All right. I'll see you guys in a couple minutes and I might pop into your practice room. So watch out. Who am I going to torture? I mean, check in on. Malachi, how you doing, man? Zane, how you doing, man? Hello? Hey. Yeah. Zane, I wanted to check in, dude. Because I think your grade in my class might be really bad. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I'm so swamped in work from all my other grades. Uh huh. It's driving me insane. Is it driving you crazy? Okay. I'm working from eight to three every day. You know. Nonstop. Yeah. The other day I had to sit down. My daughter's in fifth grade, so she's a little younger than you guys. But there was a night where we had to like. <laughs> 